Hi, and welcome back to our video course on Word 2010. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about some of the paragraph formatting options that you have in Word. Now, I'm on the Home tab of the ribbon now, and you'll see I have this section called Paragraph. All of your paragraph formatting tools are going to be located in this area. So I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to go ahead and highlight this paragraph. And you're going to see, first off, I've got a couple buttons here that will change the left indent. So I'm going to go ahead and click, and you're going to see that that either indents or outdents whatever paragraph I have selected by half an inch. And I'll go ahead and bring it back. You also have some bulleting and numbering buttons up here that we'll look at in another video. Your alignment tools are right down here. Now, right now, this paragraph is aligned to the left. You'll see all my characters are flush to the left, but I have a ragged right edge. I can change that and center a paragraph, or justify it to the right or align it to the right. You'll see now they're flush to the right instead of to the left. And finally, I have justified text right there, which will make both the left and the right flush by adjusting the amount of space in between the characters. I'm going to go ahead and switch that back to left justified, and you sort of saw the change there. You can see it change the spacing between the words just slightly to get that justified effect. And obviously this will work on titles as well. I can center a title, align it to the right. Since this is just one line, justified will just bring it back to the left. And you also have an option here for line spacing and paragraph spacing. Again, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this paragraph, and I'll click that drop down. And you can see I have some options here that will allow me to control the amount of space in between the lines, and also a couple of options that will give me more or less space before or after a paragraph. So maybe I just want to space things out a little bit and make things a little bit easier to read. So I'll just select 1.15 here. And you'll see the line spacing has been increased just a little bit. I could come back up here, and I could change that option at any time I wanted to. I would make it 1.5, and now you'll see the difference there. Now, not all of your paragraph formatting options are going to be available in this little block up here. So to get into the paragraph formatting dialog box, you're going to go ahead and click this item right here. When you do that, a dialog box will appear. And if you've used earlier versions of Microsoft Word, this will be very familiar to you. Again, I can change the alignment of a block of text. Outline level we'll talk about when we deal with PowerPoint outlines in Word. But I've got my indentation for both my left and my right here. And I can set them up to mirror if I've got a booklet-like document. So instead of inside, or I'm sorry, instead of left and right margin, I would have an outside of the booklet margin and an inside of the booklet margin. You'll see that there. If I uncheck that, it goes back to left and right. Again, this is for booklets. And we'll have another video on creating booklets with Microsoft Word. The special indent will allow you to put a first line indent on a paragraph. And I'll select that by half an inch, and you'll see in my preview down here the way that'll look. A hanging indent is just the opposite of that. A first line indent bumps the first line in by a certain amount. A hanging indent bumps every other line in and leaves the first line at its normal left indent. So you can do either hanging or first line indents from here. Or you can take them off altogether. And then you have your line spacing options here. And you also have your before and after paragraph spacing here. Now let's go ahead and look in this document a little bit more. You're going to notice I have a space in between these two paragraphs. Now I'm going to come here and click on this Show Hide button, and that will turn on some of the formatting characters inside of Word. For example, a dot represents a space. This is an end of cell marker, an end of row marker. And these are paragraph marks. 
So you can see I've actually just placed an extra return in between these two paragraphs. Just like this, just clicking at the end of it and hitting enter. But that's not the best way to do that because that's not, ex that's not actually a paragraph. So items like screen readers will be confused or if you want to magnify or blow the text up, that um, may not scale right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that out and I'm going to highlight that paragraph. And again, I can do that just by dragging over it or I can do it by triple clicking in the middle of it. So that paragraph is highlighted and now I'm going to go into the paragraph formatting dialog box. And you're going to see I can set the before and after paragraph spacing here. Well, in this case, I want to set the after paragraph spacing and I'm going to go ahead and set it for, I'll set it for something large so we can see it, 30 points you'll see that spacing was added there without putting an extra carriage return in. If I want to change that, I just highlight the paragraph, go back into this dialog box, and I can knock that down to something more reasonable like 12 points. So you've got that option for working with your paragraph spacing as well. And then again, we have the line spacing option over here. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight this first paragraph, the one that we've been working with, and then go back into this format paragraphs dialog box. You'll see right now the line spacing is set for 1.5 lines. I can change that back to single right there, or I can do double spacing. That's very common for things like term papers or reports, double spacing your lines. I can do at least or exactly now we're going to talk more about that when we talk about tables and long documents. But you also have multiple here. And if I select multiple, it defaults to three, but I can put any value I want in there. If I want there to be 1.37 lines in between each uh, line, I can set that. And I'll click OK, and you'll see it set it exactly to that line spacing. So these are tools you should become very familiar with inside of Microsoft Word because they're going to be very valuable um, to you. You also have a line and page breaks tab here. On this tab, you've got some special formatting options, mainly for longer documents. So we'll be talking about these in another video. You also have the tabs option down here. When I click on that, it will switch me into the default tab setting dialog box. And we will talk about setting up tabs in another video as well. I'm just going to go ahead and click cancel on that. And now I'm back in my document. And we'll see you in our next video.